Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this chevron style stitch here to make a throw out of it. Um, it's very easy and it's very quick and it's actually very, very pretty. You see the ridges on it? It's, it's such a classic, classic stitch. So if you are a beginner and you know how to double crochet, that is the only stitch that you need to know how to do for this this particular uh, design. It's like I said, it's very easy. It works up uh, very quickly and you can use this, this uh, stitch for other things as well. Not just, not just to throw, but I like it. And it does look the same on um, both sides. So it has the ridges on both sides. So do you guys want to go ahead and get started on it? Let's do it. All right, as always, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, so you don't miss out on any of my uh, tutorials or any of my videos. And if you could give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. And maybe a comment below, that always helps me out. Okay, so for this particular project, I used uh, Lion Brand Amandala Watercolors. It is a, a bulky number five acrylic wool nylon blend. And there are 164 yards. So for the for uh, a throw approximately 46 wide by 60 tall, you're going to need about 12 cakes of this. So about just a little, just a hair under 2,000 yards of bulky five. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Um, any bulky five will work, but you don't even have to use a bulky five because I'm going to give you the stitch multiple, so you can just chain. Um, if you're using a smaller weight yarn or even a thicker, you can chain to the width that you would like. But this is what I use. The color I have used here is almond. And for this yarn size, I'm using a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. If you're using, gonna be using a four weight yarn, I would recommend using a six millimeter crochet hook for that. All right, so the multiple for this uh, particular stitch here is 16 plus 3 which means that your beginning chain needs to be evenly divisible by 16 and then you add three more stitches to it so to get a blanket using a five weight um like i like i did um the size of mine 46 by uh, approximately 46 by 60 um i uh, started with a chain of 147 stitches so 147. Now if you're using a smaller yarn, um, you can just chain until you get your desired length. Um, just measure your, your chain. Um, and just kind of keep in mind though, it's probably going to shrink up about four inches. So if, once you get a desired length, um, maybe add four more inches of chain to that in the, in the multiple of 16 plus three. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the stitch. It's very easy. It's just a one row repeat. So we'll start row one and we're going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So we never count the one that's on our hook. One, two, three, four. We're going to put a double crochet there. So this chain here, right, right here, counts as a double crochet. And then this is a double crochet. So it's kind of like we got two double crochets there in the same stitch. Okay, now we're going to do a double crochet into the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And there is six. Now we are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip. And we're going to put a double crochet into the next seven. So skip, skip, yarn over and go into the next after you skipped your two. And we're going to do seven in a row. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to work a chain of two. One, 
two and we're going to put a double crochet into the next seven stitches so we're not going to skip any stitches now we got the chain two on our hook we're just going to go into the next stitch and we're going to work seven in a row again so there's one two three four five Six, and there's seven so if you look at what we got now you can see that the when we skip two chains it makes the dip and when you chain two it makes the point and then we're going to repeat this until we get to the last nine stitches of our row so we'll start again by skipping two skip skip and a double crochet into the next seven stitches. And then we're going to do a chain of two. So we, we did our down point there. Now our chain two makes our up point. And then we're going to do double crochet into the next seven stitches. Remember, we don't skip any stitches here. So we just go directly into the next stitch and do seven again. And then that's that's it. That's what we're going to repeat to until, until we get to our last nine stitches. So we would just start again by skipping two and then do seven in a row and then chain two and then do seven in a row. And I'll meet back up with you once you get we get to the end or we get to our last nine stitches of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row one. I have nine stitches that remain. So I just finished where I did a chain two my up point and then I did seven and double crochets so now I'm going to finish out my row by skipping two stitches skip skip and I'm going to put one double crochet into the next six stitches When you get six done you should have one stitch that remains we're gonna put two double crochets into the last stitch just like in the beginning I said that this chain and this double would count as two double crochets there that way the ends match so go ahead and put two double crochets into the last stitch and that will end row one and we'll start row two and row two is the repeat row for the whole pattern so you'll just keep repeating row two so we're going to chain one and turn our work so from now on every stitch is going to be worked in the back loop of the stitch so if you look you can see that each stitch has two loops the one closest to you is the front loop but the one furthest away is the back loop we're only going to be working in the back loops from now on so we're going to go ahead and start row two into this very first stitch we're going to put two double crochets in the back loop so uh, this loop back here two doubles into it so there's one and there's two now we're going to put one double crochet into the back loop of the next six stitches remember back loop only there's one Sorry. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
and six. Now we're going to start the repeat of row two. So we're going to skip the next two stitches and it's actually right here where we skipped the ones before. So you skip these two stitches here and we're going to start by putting one double crochet into the next seven uh, stitches back loop only. Okay, so skip two, skip, skip, yarn over, skip, skip, back loop of the next. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the seventh stitch is actually the first chain of this chain two. So go into the back loop of that first chain. This is the chain space. Here's the first chain of it. Go into that back loop of it. And that counts as the seventh stitch. Like that. Now we're going to chain two. Chain two. There's one, two. And we're going to put one double crochet into the next seven stitches. And the next stitch of the chain counts as the first stitch. So we're going to yarn over. And here's the chain. Go into the back loop of it, and that's going to count as our first stitch of the seven. So there's one, and keep working in the back loops of the next. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're just going to repeat that. We are going to skip the next two stitches, which you can see is kind of right over the spot from the row before. So skip, skip, and seven double crochets in the back loop of, I'm sorry, one double crochet in the back loop of the next seven stitches. So skip, skip, right here. So it's very similar to row one, except we're working in the back loops. And then a little different over the chain. Okay, remember your seventh stitch is the first stitch of your chain two from the previous row. Go into that back loop of it. And that'll be that. And then we chain two and one double crochet into the next seven stitches. And your first one will be the next chain of your chain two here from the previous row. Go into the back loop of it. By doing that, it keeps that ridge from breaking. See that? The ridge doesn't break. It's a continual. If you just went into the chain two space, you'd have a broken ridge. That by going into the chain space, it keeps the ridge uh, complete, no breaks. So seven in a row again, back loop only. And we're just gonna keep repeating this pattern until we get near the end of the row. There's seven, and then we skip the next two. Skip, skip, it's always gonna be right here. The one before the space and the one after the space. And seven doubles into, <laughs> one double into the next seven, back loop only. And we're gonna repeat this pattern, and this is what we've been doing until we get near the end of the row. All right, I'm coming near the end, and here is the last dip of the row. So we're going to skip two stitches, and we're going to end it the same way we started over here so they match up. So go ahead and skip these two stitches, skip, skip, and we're going to put one double crochet in the back loop of the next six stitches. We put one double. And then in the last stitch, we end it by putting two doubles into the back loop. Two 
two doubles. And that's it. It's just a repeat of row two. I'm just going to keep repeating that until we get it as tall as you want it to be. Like I said, but, uh, for the yarn amount of yarn I said, it would be about um, 60 inches. But you can make it as big as small as you want. So remember, we're going to repeat row two by chaining one and turning. Remember, it's always two doubles into the first stitch, two doubles into the last stitch. And then you can kind of just follow the points from here on out of where you need to go up and down. It gets really, really easy and it starts to work up really, really quick. Remember, we're always working in the back loops from now on. That's how it's going to be done. Two doubles in the first back loop. Two doubles into the next six. We're just repeating what we did on the previous row. Skip two, because here's your little hole here. So you always skip the one before and the one after. And then one double into the next seven, back loop only. Just like this. And remember the seventh one is always going to be that chain space from the previous row when you get to this chain space instead of working into the chain space it's just a lot cleaner to go into the chain space the back loop of it so that would be your seventh stitch and then you chain two start again double crochet in the back loop of the next seven the first one is always the next chain space here go into the back loop of it and do seven in a row. And we're gonna just repeat that back and forth, back and forth. The same, row two, until we get it as tall as we want it to be. So I hope that you were able to follow along okay. See these, this, the edges are nice and clean. If you wanna put some type of border on it, you can. Um, I normally don't border chevron blankets or any type of chevron stitch, not usually. Sometimes I'll put tassels on them, I guess. But most of the time, I'll just leave them. I think they look pretty good as they are. So I, I hope you're able to follow along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you make this, um, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page, or you can show me on Instagram. There's a link to the, both of those below in the description box. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, and I'll see you on my next video, okay? And don't forget to check out all my hundreds and hundreds hundreds of hundreds of other tutorials that I have available. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye, guys.